Hello, everyone. I don't know whether you can um, see me um, at this etching channel. Uh, we just finished the Cantonese broadcast, and um, I'm uh, currently just beta testing on this uh, English side of things. Um, the reason why we have to do it in English is because I believe um, sooner or later uh, we need to have our message go viral. So it is important to have the broadcast in, in English as well. So I will be inviting Dr. Chapman Chen, uh, who just finished appearing at, um, at the, the Cantonese channel uh, just a few minutes ago. So he could um, just warm up uh, with me and um, you got me Yep, and then see whether you um, can listen to it well. Right. Uh, Chapman, have you uh, started now? Really can I hear you? Thing. Yep. Can you see me? Yes. Yes. Yep. Oh, can I can hear yeah. you now. I, okay, Hi, I was just trying to um, to explain to the the audience the the, the reason uh, why we have to um, beta test this. Um, so-called dialogue in in English is because uh, later on I think we will have more messages about Hong Kong uh, to tell the Hong Kong story in in English uh, and I don't know whether people can hear us uh, clearly um, yeah I hope so so this this channel action channel uh, the audience size it's uh, smaller because people uh, who search this channel maybe they they don't they are not interested uh, in the uh, current affairs of political um, situation of Hong Kong as much as like uh, other stuff like what are the uh, best restaurants eateries in Hong Kong or what are the um, best sightseeing places of sorts but but this uh, particular uh, channel we still have to focus on uh, what are the pressing issues uh, that's facing Hong Kong now. And what's really pressing now, it's the one country, two systems. It's not in tech anymore because with the enactment of the national security law since June 30th, 11 p.m. of last year, uh, the Hong Kong has have um, an extreme makeover as you know, and as some of the audience know, uh, and Hong Kong is barely in survival mode. Uh, and then uh, this city is, is under duress. And just a few minutes ago, I mentioned the founder of Apple Daily, um, its personal bank accounts, three of those uh, uh, were frozen. And also, I believe the Hong Kong National Security Office tried to uh, stop Jimmy Light's trading account. Uh, his, um, well, he has around 71% of the uh, common shares of his um, publicly listed company, which is Next Media. And they tried to uh, stop Next Media from having a, a LISCO status, put it this way. So these are things that we are kind of concerned about. So this is my opening uh, speech, so to speak, because this is the first time we do it in English. And uh, I just want you, Chapman, to introduce yourself, uh, where you are from, uh, where you are now, and what is your uh, hope and mission and wishes of uh, doing this show with me in English. So Chapman, please uh, say whatever you want to express to the audience. Uh, thank you, Edward, for having me. I'm Chapman Chen. I'm from Hong Kong. I am a veteran translator, a linguist, and a vegan activist from Hong Kong, and now staying in the UK. And uh, so as I, a linguist, I would like to uh, preserve and to develop Hong Kong culture in the West because uh, Hong Kong culture is now in grave danger in Hong Kong. 
and uh, it seems that the CCP is determined to exterminate Hong Kong language, Hong Kong Cantonese language and culture. So uh, we overseas Hong Kongers have the obligation to preserve and to promote and to develop uh, Hong Kong language and culture. I have published uh, two Hong Kong Cantonese dictionaries known as uh, Elegant Cantonese Dictionary, uh, part one and part two. And uh, in the future, I may, uh, I may compile uh, uh, some uh, Hong Kong Cantonese uh, learning and textbooks. And, uh, and so, uh, well, uh, Hong Kong Cantonese has a uh, history of more than 3,000 years. Uh, it uh, uh, it uh, already appeared uh, during the warring period uh, of China. And uh, so uh, it is uh, much more time honored and, uh, uh, and elegant and refined than Putonghua or Mandarin, which has a history of uh, at the most uh, 300 years. And uh, so, uh, okay. Uh, and so what, what, uh, what would you like to talk about uh, today, uh, Edward? Maybe... Uh, well, just basically um, um, an introduction of um, <clears throat> why we are doing, having this uh, dialogue. We had a mildly successful um, show once in a while uh, to talk about uh, what are the pressing issues facing Hong Kong and then uh, definitely the um, so-called immigration ordinance amendment. It's something that is quite pressing, meaning that um, from August 1st onwards, uh, the Hong Kong Immigration Department can uh, bar people from entering or leaving the city, which is quite scary. So that reminds me of a case of like uh, Wu Kaishi or uh, Wang Dan. These are like the Tiananmen 1989 um, activists. They are barred from entering China from now on. So with this new amendment in the immigration um, scheme, so to speak, the uh, immigration amendment, I'm quite concerned that um, the Hong Kong government would use this as a political tool to stop some activists from entering Hong Kong first and also um, barring people from leaving. Now, that, that was one grave concern that we, we have. Um, and then the other thing that we talked about in the Cantonese channel just now was that um, uh, what <clears throat> the June 4th candlelight vigil, most likely it would not be allowed. Uh, the government would use the COVID-19 as an excuse to stop people from having um, a massive public gathering. And also the July 1st uh, rally, um, I think it will be banned as well. Yes, and so, uh, yes, uh, as pointed out by you, Edward, uh, uh, Jimmy Lai's properties, Jimmy Lai's bank accounts and his shares in the Apple Daily have been frozen by the Hong Kong government. So uh, that implies that uh, private property right is dead in Hong Kong. That is, the CCP can confiscate your, uh, your assets, your bank accounts, your money, uh, your, uh, your properties, uh, uh, arbitrarily. So, uh, so that, and, uh, and given the, uh, the 1st of August uh, deadline, uh, so to speak, uh, Hong Kong people have better flee as soon as possible. Because otherwise, uh, well, we, we don't know whether the, the West, uh, when, when the border uh, is shut down or when the Hong Kong airport is shut down, I, I, I wonder whether the, the West can carry out uh, something like the, the Operation Frequent Win, as in 1975 Sai Kong, 
to uh, to uh, to to withdraw or uh, their uh, their citizens and other Hong Kong people uh, in time. So uh, that will then be very uh, dangerous and uh, and very uh, clumsy, uh, to, so to speak. And so uh, so people, uh, Hong Kong people, have better leave uh, uh, the orderly uh, as soon as possible in separate lots uh, every day, and uh, and also the uh, recently the. the uh, 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 China has uh, well the CCTV channel of China has unlisted uh, two major U.S. Marvel superhero films or movies, Eternals and Shang Chi. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's uh, very ridiculous because uh, their ground or their alleged ground is that uh, these two movies. Uh, uh, have a derogatory, insult, right. right? Derogatory, or that they are an insult uh, to uh, to to the Chinese country or the to the Chinese people. And uh, well, this uh, this Chang Chi uh, is starring uh, Tony Leung, uh, the, uh, a a very Hong Kong uh, actor. Yes, yeah, Leung uh, yes, yeah, Leung yeah. a very Hong famous Hong Kong actor. Right. And and also a uh, a Mr. Simu Liu uh, who was born in China. Anyway, uh, okay. this uh, I think that the problem. Well, the 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 China people uh, allege that uh, this uh, Shang Chi involves a a villain uh, based on the fictional character, uh, Doctor Fu Manchu. Doctor Fu Manchu. Yeah, it's uh, like Doctor Evil. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, who, yeah. Who was created by the English author Sex Roma uh, during the the first half of the twentieth century? So this uh, Fu Manchu, uh, uh, well, he uh, the the Chinese uh, said that uh, his uh, his image is very derogatory uh, to the mm. Chinese nation because he has got a squinted eye and he's uh, very evil. But, uh, but in fact, this uh, Dr. Fu Manchu has got, is very talented or very learned. He has got uh, four university degrees, uh, like uh, from the Harvard University, from the Paris University, from the Edinburgh University, and from the Heidelberg University. So, uh, but uh, he uses his talents in very evil ways, like torturing, in, uh, people uh, to uh, to get their money, and uh, and he he also uh, used the, the honey trap uh, to mm. to trap people. So uh, so he's uh, uh, but uh, well uh, uh, well uh, critics like Martin Hoy thinks that uh, this uh, Doctor Fu Muan Chu is characteristic of uh, modern the, the modern PRC Chinese. Yeah, but uh, but most uh, PLC Chinese uh, don't have this Doctor Fu Manchu's talents. They only got his evilness. And uh, the, uh, uh, well, uh, the, in fact, this Doctor uh, Fu Manchu, uh, well, uh, on the other hand, um, the, China has uh, in recent years sent out many uh, young students to the West to get uh, university degrees from Western universities, but and and then to to steal uh, Western technologies and to steal info uh, Western information, all oh, that. Um, so this is this is uh, in a way akin to or similar to Doctor Fu Manchu. In fact, this Doctor Fu Manchu is based on a real historical figure, uh, uh, Doctor Gu uh, Hongming. Doctor Gu Hongming. Uh, uh, is a uh, is a historic historical figure who lived in the later second half of the ninth of the nineteenth century and the early half of uh, the the twentieth century. He was a uh, a, a uh, he was a professor uh, uh, teaching English at the uni uh, at the Peking University during the early Republican and uh, period of China. Mm. And uh, he 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 all he also got uh, three to four degrees 
from uh, from the uh, Leipzig uh, Leipzig University of Germany, and from the Edinburgh University, and uh, and from the Paris University, just like Dr. Fu Manchu. Uh, so he's uh, he's uh, good at uh, both uh, classical Chinese as well as uh, Western literature and. So and uh, he he's a uh, very conservative uh, in the sense that he uh, he's a, 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 an advocate for the Manchurian and uh, royal family. So he he support uh, the rehabilitation of the Manchurian royal family after the 1911 revolution, and he's uh, and he he also sub, uh, advocate uh, the the binding of uh, women's uh, uh, feet. And he also support uh, the concubine system, okay. and so uh, so he is uh, rather uh, anti-reactionary. Uh, he's uh, okay. he's sort of a reactionary, and anti-progressive. And mm. but uh, he he's not a, uh, a a typical old China man in the sense that he was born in Malaysia, in British Malaysia, and was educated in the West, and he got a a Japanese wife. And so, and he 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 thought that uh, the traditional Chinese culture uh, ha, had already disappeared in China. That the real proper traditional Chinese culture uh, was conserved and preserved in Japan only. So that's what made him atypical uh, of a China man. And uh, so uh, anyway, uh, so uh, so the. Uh, so maybe uh, the PLC people or, or China people uh, hate uh, hate this figure, hate uh, Doctor Fu Manchu because uh, this figure uh, reminds him of themselves. And okay. That... All right. Okay. So uh, these two uh, movies. That's uh, Marvel Comics. Uh, one of it is called Shang Chi. Yeah, so, the, hey, the, the, other, one I forgot, uh, the other one is called uh, Eternals. Eternals is directed by uh, Zhao Ting, and uh, and Zhao Ting uh, was uh, Zhao, Zhao Ting has been disavowed uh, by the Chinese authorities because okay. uh, she has said uh, uh, she has uh, a few years ago she said that uh, uh, China is a, a land full of uh, lies, and uh, and also. Uh, uh, there is another thing. Well, uh, uh, the, there is another thing problematic about Eternals because it it, uh, it, it talks about homosexuality, which okay, is okay. which is right. a taboo in contemporary okay. Red China. Uh, okay. ho homosexuality was not a taboo in traditional okay. China. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, so let, this, uh, this divert attention a bit, uh, Chapman, since we talk um, a lot about these two uh, movies, uh, Marvel uh, movies, which uh, I don't know whether people will, will watch it um, and they can in Hong Kong. But let's switch topic. And this is the final thing I, I guess I would like to wrap up and maybe you can uh, jump in to make uh, the final comments too. Now, uh, as I alluded to earlier, Jimmy Lai's personal assets it's frozen right now, three of his uh, bank accounts. Uh, I don't know whether he um, still have any other bank accounts in, in Hong Kong, but this is quite surreal in the sense that uh, he is just serving prison terms for having illegal assembly in the, um, I think it's August 18th, one of the one of the peaceful rallies in 2019, August 18th. Uh, that's illegal assembly, and also plus one other uh, religious gathering in late August. So uh, he is currently servicing uh, the prison terms in Stanley. Now I don't know how and why. You know, it's really um, a surprise and also outrageous. To see John Zhang, which is uh, the security chief, to make a court order to freeze the assets of Jimmy Lai. Think about if you are a foreign corporation or any anyone involved uh, or considering 
doing businesses in Hong Kong, you know, this arbitrary freezing of someone's assets. This is like business account. It's quite, quite shocking, honestly. And what kind of protection you have under the common law? It seems to us that this NSL is being abused by the executors to the hilt. And the NSL law is above all laws, is above the common law. And, you know, there's something that, that has created our own red flag. If they say, you know, they have a lot of red lines that's drawn by the CCP, this is really a red flag for anyone who try to do business in Hong Kong, including Hong Kong people who are still trying to be in survival mode in Hong Kong, whether they are in business or uh, being an employee. So I would like uh, maybe Chapman, you can um, make the final comments, but uh, restrict it to like a uh, one minute, please. Yes, uh, uh, you are right, uh, Edward. Uh, all enterprises, not just uh, Hong Kong individuals, all enterprises, uh, be it a foreign enterprise, uh, foreign capital enterprises, or Hong Kong capital enterprises, should withdraw from Hong Kong uh, as soon as possible. And they, uh, Hong Kong is no longer uh, a place uh, with a uh, rule of law. It, uh, it only has a rule by man. So, uh, so uh, this, um, and so, uh, uh, so uh, Western expatriates should leave as soon as possible. And not, uh, of course, Hong Kong people should leave as soon as possible. And uh, by the way, uh, the, my comments, uh, uh, on Fu Manchu has been inspired by Martin Hui, and uh, anyway, the and uh, uh, right, and if uh, you uh, so uh, on on the first of August, uh, that is when the the amended version of the Immigration Act becomes valid. Uh, they may use various excuses to prevent people in Hong Kong for living, from living, like uh, yeah. in the name of prevention of COVID-19. Or they may require you to, uh, to apply for an exit visa, just yes. like, uh, just like uh, during the... Second, in mainland China. Yeah. yeah, in mainland China. And also uh, during the, uh, the Second World War, when, when the Jews in Nazi Germany or just before the Second World War, Jews in Nazi Germany had to apply for an exit visa before they could leave. And, and of course, when the war broke out, they, no, no one can, uh, could leave. Yeah. Uh, and of course, this is the opinion of uh, Dr. Chapman Chen. Uh, I'm based in Hong Kong. Um, this is uh, the opinion of uh, my, my guests, uh, which uh, is um, highly respected. Uh, but at the same time, you know, like we have our own, uh, we make our own individual analysis and judgment. So just to um, to make it clear, and I have to say it the way I say it, and everyone understands why. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so th uh, th thank you, Edward, for speaking out for Hong Kong, uh, even though you are now in the red zone. So um, please support this um, lesser followed uh, channel, action channel, but we hope we will uh, make some um, good quality episodes so people can share it and um, just to spread the Hong Kong story. And let's stop now. Good night.